There are many reasons why you should want to keep your information private, and I hope that you can think of more than one reason to protect your information. I understand that for the past five years or so, the narrative being pushed by the media that if you want to keep your information private, it must be because you have something to hide. The logic of this narrative is not only extremely damaging to your right to privacy, but I also believe it's caused a lot of people to become very lax in their practices of securing their information when online. Nearly everyone who uses the internet in some capacity is either volunteering to or required to input personal data in order to use a website or service. That data is gold for things like advertisers and governments, but let's not forget about hackers as well. Your data has become their most valuable commodity and you're essentially giving it to them for free unless you use these precautions that I'll list in this video. There is more to utilizing encryption than just keeping your data out of the hands of advertisers. Your communications, your search engine queries, even your hard drive can all be compromised by and utilized by hackers who are looking to hijack your digital life, gain access to things like your bank accounts, and if they're lucky, your Bitcoin too. All of the tools I will list in this video offer encrypted services for free and many are are open source as well. Email encryption platforms like ProtonMail, which is free and open source, and Tutanota, also free and open source, are very easy to set up. They do not require any personal information at all, and they provide you with the ability to ensure that only those with whom you are directly communicating are able to view your messages. Keep in mind that in order for communication to be fully encrypted end-to-end, -end, both parties will need to be using the same platform. Now for the younger crowd who prefer instant messaging capabilities, no worries, there are free apps that enable your instant messages to be encrypted as well. WhatsApp is a very popular option that is recognized around the world, but if you're looking for better security, I definitely recommend using the Signal app. If this is something that is valuable to you, then I suggest urging your friends and family to get Signal as well so that you can have secured communications with those you love. When it comes to your time spent online, I think it's safe to say that 99.99% of people have used a search engine. Now, a good majority of people searching the internet for answers use Google's search engine. This is a shame because that particular search engine tracks everything you search and feeds that information right into the hands of big businesses who pay lots of money for that information. Information. Have you ever searched for an item and then suddenly you're seeing it advertised on nearly every platform you visit online? That's Google hard at work. Now, if you don't want to be tracked, use the DuckDuckGo search engine. If God forbid your computer is lost or stolen or compromised by a hacker, you can and should prevent any further damage by encrypting your hard drive before anything like this happens. Both Mac OS and Windows operating systems have this option that can easily be switched on, or you can also use TrueCrypt, which is a free and open source software. Now moving on to ways that you can secure your cell phone, you should secure your cell phone with a long, uncommon number sequence. None of this 0000, 1212, one, two, three, four kind of thing. That's just nonsense. Okay, also, I would advise against using your fingerprint since that is sensitive biometric data that could be compromised and used against you. Also, you could be legally forced to use your fingerprint to unlock your phone, whereas your password is protected by the Fifth Amendment. All right, this last one might seem very logical, but I'm sure nearly everyone has at some point done this. Do not use the same password for multiple accounts. Keep them separate and difficult, and do not store your passwords on your computer or your phone. Nothing that can get hacked by a remote hacker. Write them down, keep them in a safe place, much like you would with your private keys for your Bitcoin wallets. Yeah.